Welcome to tonight's album cuts, where tonight we take a look at Death Cab for Cutie's fourth album, Transatlanticism, which is celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. An album that is just loaded with different sounds, an album where the songs seem to seg into each other, and definitely throughout the 11 tracks, you are left feeling with with isolation, sorrow, and long-distance romance is what the album is striving for you to feel. So this is the level, yeah. But under all of that, it feels a lot more. It feels like a band who is starting to come into their own. A band with just excellent songwriting, okay? Excellent lyrics by Ben Gibbard. Lead songwriter, guitar player, and lead vocals. But the rest of the band also is on their own. Christopher Walla, the guitar player, keyboardist, sampleist, he's also the producer of the album. Along with Jason McGurr on drums, his first into the band, and Nick Harmer on bass, which, boy, does that bass drive this album. I was initially completely excited by it. I mean, I, that... The album's title is reference to the Atlantic Ocean, and it uses it as a metaphor for its geographic and emotional separation. Definitely in the album cover, looking at a bird that is striking, wrapped in red yarn, definitely is something that will and is always captivating. Thank you for joining me tonight as we looked into the 20-year anniversary of Death Cab for Cutie's Transatlanticism. Check out the great songs on the album, everything from lightness to the sound of settling to We Look Like Giants. Turn it up loud, because it is one that is meant to be played that way. Along with everything else that we always talk about here on The Hookup on Music, we hope you had a good time. This is the sound of settling.